Hey guys, this is Rick from DFSOnDemand.com, and this is a preview for the Shell Houston Open. All right, so for the record, I am uh, not a PGA expert by any means. Um, I am a winning player, but uh, honestly, if you're looking for some more expert advice, I I suggest you go to DFSOnDemand.com. We have Kenny. Uh, he goes by Kendo VT. He is an excellent um, PGA analyst. He has been killing it this season. He had another great week last week. So if you're looking for kind of more expert picks, uh, head over there. He does a lot more in-depth stuff. This is just something new I'm trying. Um, I, I want to see if you guys like this or if this is worth it. Uh, but I'm just going to be talking about the players that I'm going to be rostering this week or the ones that I'm pretty excited about. So um, take, take it, take it for what it's worth and, uh, let's have some fun. Okay. So this is the shell Houston open. It's being played at the golf club of Houston. It's a fairly long course, 7,400 yards. It's a par 72. Now this is the eighth consecutive season at this course. So we do have some pretty good course history and it's also the 10th consecutive year that this is the tournament right before the masters. So, uh, really interesting tidbits there. Uh, the defending champ is JB Holmes and five of the top 10 players in the world will be playing in this field. It's uh, Jordan Spieth, Ricky Fowler, Henrik Stenson, Dustin Johnson, and Patrick Reed. So right out of the gate, let's talk about uh, Jordan Spieth. He is the most expensive player on this on the slate. He's twelve thousand nine hundred, which is a huge price tag. He's actually nineteen hundred dollars more expensive than the next next most expensive player. Um, there, there's kind of this this idea out there that Spieth has been playing bad recently. Uh, sure, he hasn't been winning every single tournament, but uh, and he missed the cut at the Northern Trust. But he's been inside the top twenty one in his six other appearances this year. Um, he's going to be fine. He's one of the best players in the world. He's playing in his home state in Texas, and he tied for second here last year at the Shell Houston Open. Jordan Spieth is a guy that with this huge price tag and maybe some questions about how well he's playing right now, I think he makes for the perfect GPP play because uh, I think his ownership is going to be lower than normal. Okay, next up, Phil Mickelson. Um, I cannot stop making lineups that that include Phil Mickelson. Like I I just can't. Every lineup I have has Phil in it. Uh, he's ten thousand five hundred. He's right kind of in the middle of the studs at the top. I think there's like six or seven guys who are over ten thousand, and he's something like the third or fourth most expensive. Uh, this is Phil's time of year. Okay, Phil gets super excited for the Masters. He's going to do everything he can to be in tip top shape heading into the Masters. Um, and he's doing it, okay? He's played seven times on tour this season. He has four top 20s. He has not, oh, what a great course history here, has not finished worse than a tie for 17th in the last five years. So here is here are his results for the last five years. T17, T12, T16, T4, and a win. So Phil certainly knows how to uh, make a cut. He knows how to stay in contention here. He is going to pr most likely be near the top of the leaderboard come Sunday. Uh, looking back at last year's tournament, Phil actually led the field in birdies last season, which is great for DraftKings scoring. Even if he's giving a couple back on bogeys, um, a birdie and a bogey is a net plus for your player. So having plenty of birdies is obviously a good thing. Unfortunately, he did have an early exit from the match play, but honestly, he ran into the buzzsaw that was Patrick Reed. Reed is an excellent match play um, player. And he should be well rested. Think about all those guys like Rory and Day who had to play six and seven matches last week. Uh, Phil Mickelson, here we go. Well rested, headed into headed into the Shell Houston Open. All right, so now I'm going to entertain some value plays. Um, two of them. One of them being Scott Piercy, who is $7,700, uh, having a really great season. He's made eight out of nine cuts, including five top 25s. Uh, played great in his last stroke play event, which was the WGC Cadillac, where he finished in a tie for 17th. Uh, Pretty good course history or tournament history the last two years at the Shell Houston Open. He finished 10th and at a tie for 21st. But what really stands out is how low he has gone. So last year, he fired the lowest rounds of either day on both Thursday and Saturday. This guy had two of the lowest 
or, or the lowest round on two of the four days last season. That 63 that he shot on Thursday tied the course record. So you know Piercy can go super low on this course. Um, he played well at the match play. He actually went to a playoff to advance out of his group where he lost. So he only played three, he only played three rounds. Uh, again, should be well rested heading into this, but it's not like he played bad. He actually played pretty well. Uh, he had the match with Ricky Fowler. Um, so, so pretty good things coming out of Scott Piercy. All right, and then finally, a, a little more value in Alex Cheka, who is $6,800. Uh, here is, is a German who is trending upwards right now. A tie for 41st, a tie for 21st, and then a T11 in his last three starts. Uh, he's made 8 of 12 cuts this season, so he's played really well, but he actually withdrew once. It was at the waste management. Um, he was 4 under. He was going to make the cut. I believe he, he was injured or was ill. I'm not sure the reason of the withdrawal, but he was well within the cut line, um, but withdrew, so he's actually, you know, kind of made 9 out of 12 cuts, if you want to look at it that way. He's just playing really well. Uh, the last four uh, times he's played here at the Shell Houston, he has made all four cuts and he finished in a with a T11 last year. So again, a, a nice value play, a guy who's trending upwards, who's playing well right now and has some decent history uh, here at the Shell Houston Open. For 6,800, you're looking for him just to make the cut. Anything inside like the top 25 is, is a really exciting and, and should be a great return on your investment. Okay, that's it. Trying something new this week. So if you did enjoy it, uh, click the thumbs up button below uh, to let me know that you enjoyed it so I can know, know to keep making these and that you like it. Uh, or, subs or subscribe to uh, the, the channel so that you get updated when uh, I put out new videos. Okay, thanks guys. Good luck.